Hi, this is John with Fix It Planet. Today we're going to do an overview of the Series 2 Apple Watch. I've got an iCloud locked one here that a customer brought in. He was going to take the screen off, put it on his uh, watch that he had broken the screen, but he damaged one of the uh, flex cable connectors on the inside. So we're going to take a look at that and, uh, and go over a few things. It's not a full repair video but it's got some interesting bits in it hopefully they'll be of use to you just got you pointing out the diagnostic port that's all that was so you can warm it up a little bit if you like uh comes off just like the series one screen i'll leave a link in the description so you can see how that's done didn't really need to heat this up so we're going to use a little plastic pick to get in here and just kind of get this started so you may need to use something a little more durable to get your screen off this one's already been taken off so right behind here the cables they fold and uh, so you want to be able to open it this direction so if you pay attention to the orientation you should be able to see where i'm at down inside there you can see where the cables are folded over there's three of them and then the the connectors are right up here in the front you can just see those one two three and uh, those actually are pretty pretty delicate actually and can be damaged pretty easily this is the middle one that he messed up completely so that cable doesn't connect at all the one on the far left is is still perfect but the one on the far right is actually crooked so we'll be able to kind of demonstrate you know how we can take these out and put them back in again and what should look like when it's right and what it looks like when it's wrong so we use our spudger tip just to get in behind that clasp and we're going to raise each clasp very gently and then we're going to reach up and use our finger and the spudger to pull those cables out very carefully so that we don't damage them and that's it that screen's loose from the rest of the screen from the rest of the watch you can see a little burn mark where he overheated the screen and right here in the middle you can see he's completely damaged that and if you could see on the inside all the pins are all bent in and it's useless and so here you can see where he bent the cable just a little bit on the end there too I'm trying to shove it in but i think that would survive um there may have been some adhesive or tape that was down over those as well so we're going to go over the uh, force touch gasket now how, how how can we get that out of here these two little cables right here are where the force touch sensor gasket is uh, going to be plugged in under the metal bracket and the battery here is also plugged in under this metal bracket which then has a y torque screw a very tiny screw there which is very nice uh, in comparison to the Series 1 watch because it just sort of clamped down over the top of the cables and that was it's not so easy to take off and so you can see the little teeny tiny screw uh, be careful that that screw could potentially strip on you and then that might make your life miserable metal plate comes right off once you have the screw out very nice yay I like that makes that much easier now the battery would take out first is connected right here you can get your spudger just up under there and we will we'll turn this around so you can see it and it just pops right out and then underneath that connector is the force touch sensor gasket where it connects and then uh, there's a little bit of black goo down there holding the battery in place so the battery does look a little bit the battery itself looks the same but the connector is definitely different than the first series you can see that black tar looking stuff down there very sticky stuff now these two cables right here they could be damaged pretty easily so you want to watch out they're connected right there i just disconnected them 
and then that piece has also got a metal bracket which is laying on top of another flex cable of course you want to be real careful not to damage that but you can get just underneath it and then you can lift it free and then you can remove the gasket and everything can be taken out if you need to replace that force touch sensor gasket if you damage these cables be sure you clean the edges up really good of any debris and uh, then you can put the new one back in reseat your your pop connector and then clamp it down you can we have we have kitty narration in the background so Oh, and now we've got Chihuahua narration. I must be at a zoo. So we just put the battery back in. As you can see, that metal plate uh, and the bracket and all that just go down right over the top of the pop connector for the force touch sensor. And then we just put the battery connector back in to its connector. Make sure it's seated. And then we can put the metal bracket back on. And that's all there is to it. Not too, not too bad. Actually, it's pretty easy. Now, we're going to go through the motions of uh, putting the screen back on as if we were going to repair it except that it's going to look really rough because I'm trying to use two spudgers to keep my hands out of the way and that's not working out too good. So once I get it coordinated here I'll be able to actually show you what this looks like when it's done right. So you really want to be, you don't want to force these in you want to be, make sure that they, they're in correctly and you don't want to damage them. So there you can see I just got that in there all the way, nice and straight, as far in as it'll go. Put the clasp back down and that's perfect. That's how they should all look. So this one over here on the, on the right hand side, we're going to do, uh, it's going to be a partial connection, which is no good. So that would be bad if you did that. And this one here in the middle won't go in at all, so it's totally useless. Thumbs down. Anyway, hopefully we'll get one in here that we can do that uh, actually works and uh, it'll be a lot of fun. Hope you guys uh, found this useful. If you did, like and subscribe. I really appreciate you watching. Bye-bye now.